Welcome to Return of the Goddess. Today you are moving into the inner planes to meet the beautiful, vivacious, courageous Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene has an incredibly misunderstood story. Throughout time, many perceptions, many personas have been given to Mary Magdalene. And even through all of the different perceptions and misconceptions and misunderstandings, the spirit of Mary Magdalene has remained strong. She has truly become a voice of strength and unconditional love. The truth is that Mary Magdalene was a highly intelligent, educated woman who had a deep understanding of divine wisdom. And even in a time where women's voices were violently suppressed, Mary spoke, she taught, she preached, she walked with the disciples and she shared what was taught to her. She was a courageous woman, loving woman and always true to her mission. And often with the beautiful mother Mary right there next to her. So today we will meet Mary Magdalene and she will mentor you to connect, connect your, heart, your heart, your throat, your throat and your higher, self your higher self as you learn how it feels and how it sounds, how it feels and sounds to speak your truth. So let's begin. Go ahead, get relaxed. I would recommend sitting up for this one as you will be activating your vocal cords. Deep breath in. And then on the exhale, sink into the floor beneath you. Relaxing the body, making sure to turn off the phone, shut the door, carve out a space and time that is solely for you. beginning to feel that quietness of spirit, the stillness of mind. As you grow more and more relaxed, but yet focused, focused on my voice as I will help to guide your awareness into the inner planes. And as you relax, you very naturally begin to feel your vibration rising like a cork in water rising. And as your vibration rises, you begin to sense the higher planes of reality. Your awareness to a subtle realm 
becomes enhanced. You can feel yourself aligning with these higher planes of reality. Now see yourself fully surrounded in light. This bright light surrounds you as you look to the left in your mind's eye and now look to the right. All you see is this radiating light, a bright white light. And you look down at your hands and you see your hands. And you look down at the clothes you are wearing and you notice now that you are dressed in some kind of elegant white robe, soft, yet firm. It's loose and warm on your body. And as the light around you begins to slowly dim, just slightly, you begin to make out the outline of angels, beings of light, radiant light, like stars, begin to pop out. And these beings of light, they approach you with this sense of reverence and acknowledgement of who you are, of your divinity. You feel very safe. You feel very comfortable with these beings. Their energy feels very similar to yours. And you can sense that they hold a deep respect for you. Almost like they've been helping all along One of the angels asks to approach you and she holds this crown of white roses. Beautiful, fully bloomed white roses. And she asks to place it on your head and you tell her yes. And this crown of roses very gently rests on your head. And you begin to sense now with your inner eyes that your crown chakra is beginning to glow. The top of your head to just above your head is now glowing with this golden halo. And there are no words. All communication is telepathic and vibrational. And all you feel right now is this overwhelming love and light. With a deep breath in, you invite this light into your body. 
And on the exhale, you release any remaining tension or fear. And you notice how incredibly safe and peaceful you feel. You have this feeling of innocence, pure hearted innocence that flows through you. And yet there's also a strength and a wisdom You feel this childlike joy. And yet, you also hold this embodied spiritual maturity. You hold these seeming opposites with an ease and with a harmony within you. And now off in the distance, you see this bright light approaching. And immediately you know that this is Mary Magdalene. She stands out from the rest. She is wearing this stunning lush, colorful, red and golden robe wrapped all around her body. It holds this beautiful embroidery. And Mary Magdalene herself is very beautiful with her bright hair and her beautiful eyes, her eyes that sparkle as she smiles at you, grinning so wide. You can feel that her energy is vibrant and her personality is quite dynamic. She begins to speak with you telepathically and you can sense her humor and her intelligence. She is a wise woman, humble yet confident, with a personality that is as bright as her hair and her wardrobe. She's warm. She's joyful. She's loving. She now guides you telepathically to bring your awareness into the center of your heart. She guides you to this very concentrated point of light that rests in the center of your heart. And this very beautiful, pure light, it begins to grow. Just a little bit bigger a little bit bigger. This light holds the purest, most balanced energy of love. And as it grows, you can feel your heart center blooming open like a rose. Feel your heart bloom open.
It's okay if you don't see anything. Feel the sensation of blooming open. It's the feeling that's important. And this light is now radiating from your heart up into your throat and it's bringing health and vitality into your physical throat. So into your vocal cords, into your esophagus, into the lymph nodes, and into your thyroid. See your neck lighting up with this purifying light. Feel the energy in your throat opening up like butterfly wings. As your throat center begins to open and clear, it will be purifying every word, every thought, every expression, and every creation that moves and emanates from this center. It will be purifying it with love. And if there are any past imprints of hurt, of fear, places where you closed your voice for fear of persecution or rejection or abandonment. Allow those to come to the surface to be purified and released. Any place where the wings of your throat were closed or wounded from not being able to speak up to speak your truth, to create, to express your heart's desires, any place where you may have rejected yourself. Imagine these imprints are bathed in this light. Allowing yourself to feel and experience total self-forgiveness and forgiveness of others as you watch this light grow even brighter and even larger completely surrounding and encasing your throat center filling the spaces all around your throat and moving up around your head and into your crown Mary now asks, Mary now asks you if you are ready to invoke the light of your higher self into your throat. She asks if you're ready to speak as your higher self. And out loud, you say yes. Mary asks you to chant ah, A-H out loud. She teaches you that as you chant ah, that this will activate your throat, that this chant is imbued with the pure Christ energy within speech, the kind of energy that seeks to harm no one, give pain to no one. It seeks to uplift and strengthen and serve all beings. As you say ah, also visualize a red orange light glowing inside your throat chakra. Very similar to what the sun looks like as it's setting. Deep breath in. Ah. 
any place where the negative energies of lies, of gossip, of verbal abuse, or of condemnation of others is rebuked and released from your throat. The spirit of awe inspires you to speak from the heart and to speak with love, truly caring for the higher good of all. Deep breath in. Imagine any imprints left from past negative speech are now being purified, forgiven, and released in this incredibly loving, divine red light. Deep breath in. Ah. Feeling that high, fine vibration of your higher self now beginning to imbue itself move more of its light, its liquid love into your throat center, into every atom, every molecule in your throat. Deep breath in. Continuing to visualize that setting sun in your throat, that beautiful red orange. Continue to do this on your own and notice if your voice changes at all. As you bring more and more of your higher self into your throat center. Notice if your voice gets slower or lower, or perhaps there's a richness, a depth of sound that begins to move and shift from your normal voice. Continue to do this, noticing any subtle shifts that begin to happen in your voice. Continue, Continue to chant. To chant. Uh, Go ahead and Relax now, become still, without judgment, without expectation, without any kind of interpretation of what's happening or what you feel, just be. Mary approaches you with her radiant aura and her dynamic energy. And she reminds you of the power of creation that you hold in your voice. You hold the power to influence matter and influence others the more you speak from a higher level of consciousness. She tells you about her incredible 
human journey. A lifetime where she was doubted, she was disbelieved, and she was silenced many times. Throughout our known history, many, many, many others have had a lot of judgments and misconceptions about Mary Magdalene. There have been many different personas created around her. But despite all of the misconceptions and all the misrepresentations, Mary Magdalene never forgot or abandoned or rejected the truth of who she really was and is. And she tells you that it is safe to speak your truth. You don't need to repress your thoughts and feelings. You can voice your thoughts in a way that is loving and of the highest good for all. It is far better to be seen and known for who you truly are than to never really be seen at all. After all, you can only pretend for so long to be something you're not. So free yourself, liberate your spirit. Speak your truth. It is your time. Anyone who may judge you or misunderstand you or might not even like you speaking up for yourself, let them be. Let them feel what they feel. Bless and release. Speak only with the intent to come from the highest good and refuse to allow someone else's perspective of you to change your own perspective of you. And after this teaching, Mary Magdalene begins to shower you from her heart space with this golden radiant transmission of unconditional love. She loves you. She sees you. And she absolutely knows the courage and the strength that must be summoned from your innermost being to express who you truly are. After all, Magdalene means tower of strength. So bask in her transmission of unconditional love, strength, confidence, joy. Feel the Magdalene transmission. Mary Magdalene begins to close this initiation. She now invites you to summon and hear the voice of your higher self. She tells you to now ask your own higher self to give you a message about how you can open your throat center. And what she asks you to do is to speak out loud whatever moves through you. Speak out loud and listen to the tonal qualities of your voice. If nothing's coming to mind, 
go ahead and do an ah and allow your voice to shift and sing or speak in whatever way you want. Play with the sounds coming through you. Make them as beautiful and melodic as you can. Mary now guides you to play with the sound of OM. The sound of OM helps you to open your spiritual center, your crown center, and to link it with your throat. So you speak as your higher self. Have the sound of OM be long and melodic or maybe very short and staccato, play with the sound of your voice as you summon your higher self. Feel free to go on much longer if you desire. As this initiation closes, you feel yourself slowly coming back into your body. You see off in the distance Mary Magdalene blessing you, blessing this transmission, blessing your throat center as she reminds you to always speak your truth and you give thanks to Mary Magdalene and all the angels that were here for this ceremony as you feel yourself moving back into the room back into this plane, to this dimension, into this space and time, into your body, wiggling your fingers and toes, taking a deep breath in, and on the exhale, slowly opening your eyes, coming back, feeling confident, feeling sure, more sure, of who you are, feeling safe, feeling ready to take on the day. Remember that you can always ask for your higher self to come through in all your communications. You can ask your higher self for how it would say something or if it would say anything at all. And as you do this, it will greatly increase not only your effectiveness and contribution to the world, but it will also bring clarity and harmony and be a magnet to love in your life. Sending you all my love. Namaste.